Hi YouTube, Miss Glamour Girl 79 back at it again. Um, coming to you with a makeup tutorial on the Wet n Wild palettes that I purchased from Walgreens um, about two weeks ago. Um, I didn't get a chance to do the review like I wanted to right after I got them because I got sick. And a lot of things started happening. I'm not undressed. I'm not naked. I have on a half dress, um, strapless dress. I got my hair in a my hat because I'm having it in a braid out right, right now for work in the morning. It's about 10 at night and I decided to just go ahead and do these makeup tutorials for you guys because I said I would and you know I'm feeling better now. <clears throat> Even though I still have a little throat thing going on because my kids are constantly getting sick one way or the other. So tonight I'm going to be doing tutorial on spoiled brat very pretty excuse me I want to say this would be a perfect look for a young girl going to prom or even if you're just going to like a night out with your husband or a night on the town with your girlfriends to a club or something you know it really the um, colors are really pigmented and you know if you want that look going on that's this 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 will um definitely get what you're looking for if I can get it open what's going on with me tonight I'm like cannot get it open for some reason okay you guys gotta excuse me because I just been This is crazy. I just had this thing open like. Okay. There we go. Those are the colors. Pink. Black. And like a platinum. Okay. So let's get started. First. I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. This came in the either. I have two uh, Urban Decay palettes. Which they gave free. Um, Primer Potion, The Book of Shadows 3, and Naked Palette. So it came out of either one of those. I don't know. I have two of them. So I'm using three brushes. The Elf Eyeshadow C Brush from EyesLipFace.com. One dollar. Very good brush. Shadow brush spreads easily. The bristles are really soft. Another elf brush. It's a dome brush. Um, I've had this the longest. And it's a blending brush. And as you can see, it has that tip. Good for blending. You know, getting in those areas. And then I have a Urban Decay brush that came with the Naked palette. It doesn't have a name on it, but it's bas I use basically use this for up under my brow to highlight because it has that fine point. I really can't use it as a shadow brush because the um brush isn't big enough. So we're gonna get started, and I have a handheld mirror since I'm doing this on my webcam from my HP laptop. So. You know, I don't have a mirror right there. I'm in my bed right now, so. First, we're going to put on some Urban Decay. All over the lid. I'm almost out. They do have a bigger size. That's like twice the size of this. That's like $20. And it lasts a, lot, a while. I want to say it lasts me like five months I've had this for two like I said I have two so this one's almost gone and I have one more to go through so that's a good little while so other side it doesn't take much I like to put it all the way up to the brow though since I'm putting in a highlighter just take a finger pat and smooth and blend in 
it blends in kind of a matte clearish color it dries your skin color so there we go I'm going to use <coughs> excuse me use this brush for this not much because the color is very pigmented so I'm going to be looking in my mirror here we go I'm just listening to a little music in the background my husband is off with his brother doing whatever men do you know so I'm home with the kids and they're in bed I was bored so I'm going to bring this almost to the end of the eyelid which about right here I want to leave that space for the black do the same for the other side the pink is very pretty and we're gonna see how it you know interacts with my complexion because I'm dark I'm not that dark but you know I'm not white either so I don't know if you can see that, but it's almost. Okay. There you go. So I'm going to take this same brush and put it into the black. Like so. Just a little bit so I can start at the outside edge of the eyelid and work my way in just a little bit so basically like that just keep working it in windshield wiper motion across the lid to bring it you're gonna create kind of a smoky eye kind of you don't want it so dark you look like you're going to a rock concert or something. No offense to people who go to rock concerts, but you know. It's a great nighttime look though. So, just pat it on the outside and then just bring it over. When it's your wipe emotion. I think that's perfect. Now I'm going to take my blending brush, do the same with the black, blend it out, both sides, okay so now I'm going to take a little pink so I can blend it to make it look cohesive as if it's one color you don't want that harsh line that's not a good look so you just keep blending until you're satisfied so I think I think it's it's almost perfect now I'm gonna add this platinum transparent I'm guessing up under my brows not much just like so tap my blending brush the excess of whatever was left over from the black and the pink and just blend this out blend 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 you just want to keep going back and forth to the highlight almost disappears it's looking kind of bright because of this light but I'm telling you it doesn't okay. this is the look the end result rate comment and subscribe I'll talk to you guys later.
拜。